All right, so in this video, what we're going to do now is we are going to create two new model classes that will allow us to pass in into our sign up user, for instance, or delete or anything. That way we don't have to pass all of this at once. Okay, so this is going to allow us to organize our code better since we know a lot about object oriented programming. So inside of our models here, I'm going to right click, say new. Java class. The first one is going to be user. Okay, this is a class that will model a user. So essentially what we're going to do is we are going to model this user here. Okay, right. One user here has first name, last name, username, password, gender, and so forth. That's what we're going to be doing here. Okay, so let's go ahead and say private this is going to be first string first name, private string, last name, private string, user name, private string, password, private string, location, private string, gender. Okay, I think that's about it that we have here. I'm going to go ahead and create a few setters and getters here. So I'm going to say command N, command N as such, getters and setters. I'm going to select all of them. Switch. Okay, we have getters and setters. Let's create a constructor, command N again. Why not? I'm going to include all of them. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new constructor here, overloading constructor. Uh, this one is just going to be an empty one. Okay, that way, if we wish to just use an empty one, we can as well. All right, so that is that's it. We have now our user. Let's do the same for our task table, task model here. So Java class, I'm going to call this task. Okay, uh, the task will have a few things here. In fact, let me go, let's go ahead and open our task. Let's see. Our task. Our task has the following column as task ID, user ID as the foreign key, date created, and description. One thing we forgot to add actually is the actual task, right? There's nowhere where we actually adding where we adding the task from the user. So that was a mistake. Let's go ahead and change that by right click. And we're going to go and click on this wrench icon. And then we're going to add our new here. It's going to be task. And of course, it's going to be of our char, not null, and apply and apply. There we go. So now you see that we do have our task inside of our columns here for our tasks table. Okay, that's perfect. So we're going to emulate the same thing here. So let's go ahead and do. In fact, how about I wonder if I can move? Yes, let's move it there. There we go. I like this much better. So if you drag and drop, we can actually move the task to the top here. You can see now, let me refresh. All right, it seems like here it's not changing, but anyway, we'll see if this actually works when we get there. Okay, at least we are going to add these fields. For now, I'm going to use the old order, so it's going to be private. I'm going to make this long because it will have date, time. I'm going to say date created. String description. Private string task. I'm gonna create getters and setters. Get all of them. And then we're gonna go ahead and create a constructor. I'm gonna add oops. Create a new constructor. Add all of them. I'm going to create a new empty constructor, of course, like that, okay, for convenience.
experience. Okay, so we have our task and our user. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of these for now. So here what we're gonna do, I'm gonna create a, let's create a new a private void. I'm gonna call this create, let's call this create user such. Okay, and we're gonna call this here. Get this out of there, put inside here, and create all of this out of here, and put right here. In fact, this create user is going to be called inside here, just to simplify things. All right, so let's go ahead and get all of these information that we're getting from our user, right? Such as sign up, last name, first name, username, checkbox if male or, or female. I'm going to say string name is equal to sign up first name dot get text string last name say last name dot get text string username Say username dot get text. Okay, and keep going string password password dot get text string location location dot get text as well. Okay. Now we need to get the information from our sign up box here, right? See if it's male or if it's female. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and say, create a string here called gender. I'm gonna give it nothing for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and say if checkbox dot selected is selected, it's a boolean, so if the female one is selected, then I'm gonna go ahead and say gender, it's gonna be equal to what? Female. I'm gonna say else, gender is equal to male. Okay, so there we go. So here we're just saying, if checkbox is female selected, then we're gonna make sure that the gender string here is gonna hold female, else gender is male. Okay, and then we're gonna use that inside here, passing gender as such. Now, before, after we've done that, so we have all this information, let's go ahead and create our person, our user object. So we can say user, make sure that it's our sample model user, not this other user here. That's very important. This is our class user, and this is some other kind of user that we're not interested in right now. I'm gonna say user, new user. I'm gonna say user, user is equal to new user object. I'm not gonna, okay. And if we wanted to, let's use one of the constructors here and start passing things in. First thing is gonna be name. Next is going to be last name and then username, and then password, location, and last but not least, gender, like this. Okay, so we're constructing our user now. Now, the beauty here is that since we have this user object, we can go back to our database handler sign up user and change what we're passing here. Instead of passing the entire, um, all of these, we can just pass a user object. That way it's easier, right? We can just pass user object and then the, the sign up user will do all the work. What I mean by that is the following. Let me get rid of all these. I'm going to go back to database here. So now I'm going to change this whole thing here. I'm just going to pass a user object like this. Let's say enter. Again, make sure we get the user from sample model. So our user object like that. And then we have an error here because now we've changed things. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this user object and just pass in here. And once that happens, that means we can then say user dot 
get first name. Look at that. User dot get last name. And then user dot username. Password. Right? We're using the get. One of our getter here. Uh, after the password, we are location. So get location and dot gender. So now it's a little bit, it's more organized because we just passed a user object and we do all the work inside here. So if you go back to our sign up controller, this will no longer work because remember we just now, all we have to do is pass our user just like this. Look how clean things are right now. Yay. Yay, yay, yay indeed for object oriented programming. Now, of course, we could have just used said something like this user dot sat first name and pass, you know, the string first name as such. But either way, if you want to do that, that's fine. But I just used another option here. If you go back, let's look at user. See, that's why I have two different, uh, I have an empty constructor, which doesn't pass anything. And I have this constructor, second construct overloaded constructor, which has all of these parameters that we pass. Either way, that's fine. All right, so we are making strides here. This obviously will still work. And I can prove you that this still works <clears throat> by saving this and give it a run. Remember last time what we had? Oh, there we go. To do is there. Last time, let's go to our my SQL workbench here. Last time you noticed that we have added in our users. Let's show right click, select rows limited, 3000. You notice we had added Paolo Dishon, right? All this information. Now let's go see if we can add someone else. Ready? Let's go to sign up. There we go. Sign up shows up. Let's say. James Bond, J Bond. Let's give a password here and say he's a male. All right. And then let's say location UK. Let's sign up. And we go back here. If all goes well, let's refresh and look at that. James Bond, J Bond, Dishon7, that's the same password I added, and he's male, and he's from UK. Wonderful. So now things are still working as usual, but the thing here is that we were able to optimize our code, to refactor our code, to make it better. Okay, now we just say database sign up user, we passed object, and all that work is done internally here. All right. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.